What's up, everybody? Welcome to our live for um, June. This is the last live we'll have for the first half of the year. If you're just joining us, welcome. Um, we're going live on YouTube as, as well as Facebook and live on Instagram as well. Uh, so if you're joining us from any of those platforms, uh, welcome and um, feel free to jump in and ask your questions there. Um, for today, I know that a lot of people starting out, especially starting out and also uh, scaling in the apparel decoration business, um, have really been interested in how to promote their custom apparel business. So that's kind of what we'll be talking about today, focusing on um, you know several ways that I'll share with you guys um, that are you know proven ways to market and uh, grow uh, and pro and promote your custom apparel business. Um, for those of you that don't know uh, who I am, I'm Henry. I'm the CEO of Ricoma, and every month I kind of uh, spend about an hour here just to answer any questions you guys might have about the apparel decoration business in general as well as um, you know talk about a specific topic relating to the apparel decoration business so uh, so that you guys keep on learning you know keep being educated whether you're just starting out in the business or you are a veteran in the business and looking to scale your business further so that's the purpose of uh, our live stream here and um, welcome to all of you that are joining from pretty much all over the place here I already see people commenting um, that they're from Tennessee, there's people from um, Arizona, from California. Um, usually we get a lot of people from all over the place. We got people from Daytona Beach in Florida, from Ontario uh, in Canada, Rhode Island, um, Puerto Rico, Los Angeles, Kentucky. So definitely see a lot of people from a lot of different places. So if you're joining us for the first time, um, uh, or, or by show of hands, let me know in the comments if you are, if this is your first time joining us on the live stream or you've been um, a, a repeat viewer uh, in the past. We, again, do this every single month, been continuing to do this for the better part of probably uh, three, four years now, I think. So um, have have quite a few live streams here on, um, on this channel. We've uh, uh, grown to... Um, not only doing the live stream on Facebook, but also uh, on YouTube as well as Instagram, just to make sure that wh wherever, pl whichever platform you're joining us from, you can get your questions answered. All right. So before we get started, just to make sure that everything is working well, it seems like it is. Um, there's already people saying, answering to my previous question about whether this is the first time you're joining a live stream here. I do see a lot of fir first timers. Um, especially from YouTube, uh, quite a few first timers here. Um, so if you do find value out of content like this, I would greatly appreciate it if you share this video with people that you might know, um, or if you're joining us from YouTube, right underneath the video, there's that thumbs up button. Um, it would greatly uh, help out um, this video and the, to the channel as well if you uh, give this video a thumbs up. So if you find content like this helpful, make sure you uh, go ahead and do that. And for those of you that are joining us for the first time, especially those that are on YouTube, uh, let me know if you guys are subscribers to our YouTube channel where we have a ton of content, not just on business business related topics regarding the apparel decoration industry but also on um, you know on techniques and other projects a project based tutorials that we teach you how to navigate certain projects within embroidery within printing and everything you need to know about apparel decoration so um, with that said, uh, a couple of housekeeping things while some, some people are still trickling in. Um, I see that uh, people are, are on, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, we got about 20 people there, and on YouTube, we got about 70 people there. And then I'll be checking um, the Instagram comments on my phone um, as people are commenting as well. So uh, before we kind of get started in today's topic, just wanted to uh, kind of mention a couple of housekeeping things. Um, for those of you that uh, are um, might or might not be aware of uh, the current promotions that we have going on, wanted to mention a, a couple of those things. Uh, we do have the the embroidery and um, uh, different different printer packages that are on sale with zero percent financing. Let's start with the embroidery. Um, Payments as low as one thirty-five dollars uh, per month and 0% financing. Um, we have many different packages. Um, as 
Uh, for those of you that probably have followed us for a long time, you know that here at Ricoma, um, we are the manufacturer, so uh, we have a wide variety, a wide range of um, commercial and starter and boring machines for you to choose from. So if uh, you are interested to start out with in, with embroidery, we probably have something, um, you know, you can easily find something that can fit your needs. We have like uh, semi-commercial um, start. Um, uh, um, entry level machines to fully commercial single head machines to multi head machines um, that range from like two to 12 heads. So uh, you can embroider many different items at the same time. Um, those are really good for these uh, bulk type orders. And um, we've recently launched our uh, all new uh, 20 needle MT8S series of commercial embroidery machines available in one, two, or three heads um, that you can go ahead and. Um, get into that. That's the largest uh, number of needles, the, the biggest number of needles on the market. Um, you can have one, two, or three heads to choose from. Um, super helpful for you to, um, you know, scale as your business scales depending on your needs. Um, but anyways, the uh, pr the promotion that we have going on is zero percent financing, as low as one thirty five per month. That is for the EM ten ten um, entry level ten needle single head machine, and um, and then the price goes up from from there in in terms of um, what type of machine you know really suits your needs. Uh, our product specialist will be able to kind of guide you towards the right machine machine that can fit your needs. Um, all of our machines come inclusive with everything you need to get started, you know, not only the stand, the machine, all the hoops and accessories, cap frames, cap, cap attachments, um, and a starter kit of threads and backing for you to get started. Um, it also comes with digitizing software if you're interested to digitize on your own. Uh, we've had many different topics about digitizing on this channel here, talking about the pros and cons of, um, you know, digitizing on your own versus outsourcing, what are the pros and cons there. Um, so uh, if you're looking to do digitizing on your own, it could be a, another revenue stream for you and uh, be able to offer design services and digitizing services to your customers, okay? And you get more control of the entire process, obviously. Now, um, that's on the embroidery side. You know, we have that sale going on. And uh, if you're ever interested, you know, go ahead and click the link that our team has put down in the comment section below and fill out the form. And um, one of our product specialists will reach out, understand your needs, what you're looking for, and hopefully get you into a machine. And again, we have special financing available. So very easy to apply, five minute application, and you get a response right away as to how much you're approved for. Okay, so with that said, um, moving on to the printing side of the business, which we've been which here at Recoma we've been really expanding quite a bit on the printing side, um, starting with the with the uh, Luminaris 200 white toner transfer printer. Um, we do have that in different bundles, um, two different bundles to be exact, uh, with the Essentials bundle uh, or the uh, Premium bundle. Um, uh, there's a little bit of differences in each, um, but uh, with that, you do get everything you need to get started as well. The paper, uh, two-step transfer paper, um, the heat press, um, Lumen Rip software so that you can um, ma ma uh, manipulate your designs and, and rip the design to be able to print on the printer, um, as well as uh, the cartridges that you need to get started. Um, so uh, that one, I believe it starts from 145 per month uh, with 0% financing. That's for our Essentials bundle. And for the Premium bundle, uh, you, you get a, a, an auto open heat press, uh, which is a slightly larger as well, 16 by 20 versus 15 by 15. And um, you get um, you know, extra um, uh, sheets of paper with, um, you, get, you get a larger size paper as well with the legal size paper, so you can print larger designs. Um, and you get live online training versus recorded video training, so you can interact with an, an instructor. And it's 167 per month, so about you know $22 more per month uh, with 0% financing. The 0% financing is for 48 months. Okay, um, so if you're ever interested to kind of you know get started with t-shirt printing, transferring designs onto um, onto mugs, plates, uh, caps, jackets, bags, really the uh, sky's the limit. As long as you can fit the garment under a heat press or the substrate under a heat press, because you can transfer onto hard surfaces as well using hard surface paper. Um, you can print your full color design and transfer that onto a variety of substrates, really not limiting you to the type of uh, garment or um, surface you can transfer onto as long as it can fit under your heat press. And obviously we have different heat presses to uh, for different types of garments, 
hat presses, plate presses, um, flat heat presses, obviously, for flat garments, um, uh, a wide range of uh, Ricoma manufactured heat presses for you to choose from to be able to accommodate kind of what, what type of projects you're looking to do. All right, so that's on the white toner transfer printers. Um, those are more of an entry-level way to get started, um, uh, much more affordable than other printing uh, printing methods. Um, but if you're looking to do larger scale and you're looking to uh, maybe get into um, direct-to-film uh, uh, printing, which is similar to white tra white toner transfer, um, but it's uh, much more conducive for large scale uh, uh, printing given that it's a roll to roll DTF machine. If you're interested to check that out, we have DTFs uh, here as well. The, DT the, the, the Revel DTF 2402, that's a uh, two head, two print head um, DTF machine. As you can see on the pictures there, it is ro roll to roll. So it, it comes with the printer, the powder shaker, and the dryer, um, all, in all inclusive inside the package. 277 per month um, and uh, a, a small down payment um, and with that you can easily be able to print um, uh, uh, close to a hundred or right around a hundred uh, prints in under an hour um, it, this is a really versatile machine for those of you that don't know much about DTF um, you know and and let me know in the comments if you already have a DTF or you've, you're thinking about getting into a DTF um, so I, I can see the type of you know, audience that are interested in that. But essentially with, um, with DTF, you, uh, you really open up your business model to a lot of different things. Not only can you um, use the printer to print and obviously then cut up the designs and transfer it onto t-shirts and then sell the t-shirts, but you can also just buy the printer and just sell transfers. And what I mean by that is you can just you know, print hundreds and hundreds of transfers um, for, a, uh, for a client and have them uh, uh, transfer it onto uh, the, uh, the substrates of their choice. Meaning that you can just sell the transfers itself, um, it really saves you the other half of the of the work obviously you um, you know you, you don't make as much revenue but you also do a lot less work as well having to transfer each and every design there are customers that might have a heat press already um, that just wants to buy designs from you that are already pre-printed on these transfer sheets and then transfer them on their own using their own heat press if that's a type of customers that you have um, having a DTF printer um, really allows you to do that. Uh, having a white tuner transfer printer also allows you to, to do that as well. The difference is that with the roll to roll DTF, you can just print a lot more and, uh, and a lot faster of a design and much wider of a sheet um, that, that you can print on, giving you much more volume and, and production capacity versus a, a desktop uh, white tuner transfer printer. But both can give you the option of just printing transfer sheets and selling them to your customers. So um, that one I, I said is uh, 277 per month with 0% financing plus a small down payment. Um, and it comes with everything you need um, as always to get started. Um, and uh, you know the, the, all the supplies, the ink, the uh, powder for the adhesive, um, the dryer, the, um, uh, and the purifier as well because the, after the curing process it does emit this uh, smoke and so it purifies that into an, into an odorless um, uh, gas um, and that purifier comes with uh, the package as well. So really everything you need to kind of run your production from either your garage or, um, or uh, in a warehouse or in an office. Um, okay, so with that said, uh, those are kind of the, uh, the, the, the equipment promotions that we have going on. Um, and uh, we also do have some things on sale on, on the online shop. I'll just briefly touch upon that. 10% off of heat presses, vinyl cutters, and sewing machines, plus free shipping. And you get 20% off of Chroma accessories as well. Um, so shop.recoma.com um, is the online store. We do have a flash sale from now until uh, Friday. And um, you know you can see on the screen there what the, what the sales are. 10% off of heat presses, 10% off of vinyl cutters and sewing machines. And then for any embroidery accessories like a laser device, um, uh, the robot frame to do uh, bags or shoes like the clamp um, you can buy those as well for 20% off um, Chroma if you're looking to which Chroma which is our own digitizing software if you're looking to upgrade your tier or uh, just purchase a Chroma when you're getting started to do digitizing on your own uh, you get 20% off of that and then for the belt hoop uh, also that's an, an, an accessory that we have uh, for 20% off as well okay um, Last but not least, I'll touch upon um, Deco Summit in a little bit more detail later on in the 
um, in the uh, conversation here. But I just, just very quickly, I, I might want to just, uh, we, we just want to play a quick video showing you a, um, uh, what Deco Summit is about. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have uh, been to Deco Summit in the past or if you're looking to attend this year or even if you just know about Deco Summit at all, let me know if you know about um, what uh, what uh, Deco Summit is about. I would happy I would be happy to explain about that further. But that is it, an event, um, a three-day educational conference that we have uh, that's going to be hosted in late September this year in Miami, Florida, September 28th to the 30th. And uh, this video will give you a quick overview of kind of what, what it's about. Um, and then as we go through the rest of the um, presentation here and the and the live stream here, um, we do have, uh, I'll have other, other places where I'll talk about Deco Summit. Um, but let's cue the video and um, give you guys a good overview of what Deco Summit is about. For the last four years, Deco Summit has been bringing experts and entrepreneurs together from around the globe to inspire creativity, share insights, and establish lasting connections within the custom apparel industry. It's our ultimate goal to empower you and equip you with the tools you need to succeed in a rapidly evolving industry. For that reason, Deco Summit 2023 is where you need to be if you're serious about crushing your goals and taking your custom apparel business to the next level. Whether you're new to the scene or a seasoned professional, there's always something new to learn or improve upon. Because to succeed, you have to be dedicated to finding ways to move your business forward. This means building strategic partnerships, immersing yourself in a larger community, and staying up to date on what's new and what's working in the custom apparel industry. I'm Henry Ma, CEO of Recoma, and this fall, we are honored to welcome you back for our fourth annual Deco Summit. This is a three-day must-attend event for embroiderers, printers, and entrepreneurs who want to master their craft and grow their businesses, all while making connections with like-minded individuals. It's also the best way to get up-to-date information on all the changes happening in the custom apparel industry, from the latest trends driving sales to the advancements in machinery and accessories. Now, you've probably watched YouTube videos, read blogs, or scoured the internet when you wanted to learn a new skill or troubleshoot your machines. But we believe that the best way to master your craft is by learning from the pros and experiencing the equipment yourself. Which is why we're excited to welcome back many of our qualified product specialists and esteemed leaders in the industry to guide you through all of the seminars, hands-on training sessions, and product demos. And speaking of product demos, we're also thrilled to showcase some of our newest products and technologies at this conference for the very first time. So you definitely don't want to miss out on this one-time opportunity. Additionally, experts from across the custom apparel industry will be sharing new insights on a wide variety of topics that you can put into action from the moment you leave Deco Summit. We're so proud of the amazing community of creators we've attracted at Recoma. And at this year's Deco Summit, you'll have the unique opportunity to network and build relationships with professionals who share the same passions as you do. Known for its top-the-line amenities and impressive conference halls, Blue Lagoon is the perfect venue to host multiple training sessions, seminars, Q&A discussions, and much more. It's also conveniently located just five miles from the airport via shuttle and a short drive to world-renowned destinations like South Beach and downtown Miami. Our general admission pass gives you access to more classes with three days of seminars on embroidery, printing, digitizing, and much more. As a VIP guest, you'll gain entry to the conference's full schedule of seminars. Your ticket during the flash sale, you get 10% off uh, the already discounted tickets. Um, right now, we're in uh, the early bird phase. Uh, we already completed our super early bird phase. Um, so you got about a month left for the uh, early bird phase before tickets go up in price again um, because it's getting closer and closer to, to the event. Um, but if you use the code of DECO10 um, on DECOSummit.com, you uh, can save an additional 10% off the already discounted ticket prices. So, um, you know, save yourself an extra $70, um, you know, if you were buying the general admission tickets and um, up to, I think, $90 to $100 on the VIP tickets. Um, the difference between general admission and VIP, just very quickly, is that uh, VIP tickets do get access to these hands-on training classes um, that uh, general admission tickets don't get access to. Um, 
general mission or, or, or um, uh, everyone, every ticket holder gets access to all the seminars, speakers, uh, you know, and and panel events. Um, you get access to the uh, to the uh, show, the showroom floor as well to view the latest latest technology that we have, as well as any demo sessions to show you how to you know um, uh, how something works or a particular project. But in terms of being hands on with a, with a machine that you choose, um, depending on what machine you have or what machine you're looking to get and what machine you want to get trained on, um, that's going to be the difference between the VIP tickets and the general mission tickets. And VIP always also gets uh, an, an exclusive VIP uh, after party as well during one of the days. So um, you can sign up for their slot. And then once those slots um, you know, uh, fill up, though, that's the end of that particular class. So, um, But VIP ticket holders do get two classes that they can choose from um, that they can get hands-on experience with. Um, and hands-on hands-on training with with particular topics. We have like beginner tracks and more advanced tracks. So uh, you know, depending on your skill level and what you're looking to learn, um, you can get a feel for um, you know what track you want to take and what kind of classes you want to attend. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, flash sale, Deco10, D-E-C-O-1-0. If you um, use that code on decosummit.com before Friday, 6 p.m., you get an extra 10% off your ticket prices. Okay, um, and last but not least, uh, the, the giveaway that we have today is also relating to Deco Summit. We'll be giving one lucky winner a um, one free Deco Summit general admission ticket to attend th this year's Deco Summit. You know, that's that itself is worth uh, $700, six dollars six ninety five um, for the for the price of admission. Um, and uh, we'll be giving that away to one lucky winner. Uh, and if you want to um, upgrade your ticket to a VIP ticket, you can you can you know uh, just pay for the for the difference. Uh, but you get a free um, all access pass to uh, general admission um, ticket for Deco Summit this year. Again, happening September 28th to the 30th uh, in Miami, Florida. Okay, so uh, with that said, let's kind of jump into today's topic about the five ways to successfully promote your custom apparel business. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with this um, with this topic, given you know, especially as a new business owner or starting out in the custom apparel industry, you're probably wondering how do you get your first orders coming in, right? As every uh, business needs revenue to survive and to grow, this is a topic that's on everyone's mind, especially when they're just starting out. So a very, um, I guess, practical topic that we'll be talking about today and one that a lot of you have asked about uh, in one of our polls uh, to want to learn more, especially how to promote your custom apparel business. So that's what, we, what, what we'll be talking about. I'll be going over some, you know, many of these ways that I'll be talking about are absolutely free. So there's no, um, you know, money needed to 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 spend. But, um, you know, obviously, if you spend money on using, you know, with these ways, it can, it can accelerate your growth even further. But um, none of this really requires any capital upfront. Um, but uh, with capital, it can it can it can accelerate that growth even further. So the first thing that I'll talk about is something that is very much overlooked by a lot of people starting out in the business, which is just tackling the low hanging fruit of tapping into your local network, your your existing network of people that you know. And many people will be surprised to find that a lot of their friends or family are going to, um, you know, uh, either have a need for custom apparel business or or, or, or custom apparel for, for for their business, or know someone that has a business that might need uh, cus uh, customized apparel. Um, if you are uh, in the real estate industry, for example, you might know realtors or real estate offices that might want some polo shirts for their staff. Uh, if you have someone that has a connection with a day care or a school, you might have an in or a warm introduction with the, with the director there that uh, could be in charge of procurement and uh, be able to make a, make a connection and uh, be the supplier of uh, polo shirts or backpacks for uh, kids over there, right? Or varsity jackets or whatever the case is. So um, just looking into your local network, you'll be surprised to, to, that you'll have uh, you know family or friends that might know like a restaurant owner or someone that also needs some, some hats or uh, aprons or visors for for their staff. The need for custom apparel and branding is very prevalent across a lot of a lot of different businesses, and so. Um 
knowing someone that can make a warm introduction that definitely gets your foot in the door a lot quicker um, but you'll be surprised if you just ask around and tap into your local existing network uh, and find uh, introductions that you can leverage um, that's the first thing that I would tell anyone to do if they're starting out uh, you know because uh, that's very easy to do it takes a couple of phone calls and if you already know the person they're your friend or their or, or family the introduction is, is that much easier and it, and a warm introduction is always better than a, than a, than a cold call and it just kind of gets you in the door much faster then when you do some of those orders and maybe you are able to strike a deal with one of these organizations and you and you do well on that first particular order um, that can allow you to um, get your foot in the door and leverage that relationship for you know future orders or even other other referrals which I'll talk about later on but that's the first thing that I would do tackle this low-hanging fruit of um, tapping into your existing network and uh, using your network to introduce you to businesses that might need uh, custom um, custom gear or custom apparel Okay. The other the other note that I'll mention here in terms of this just you know low hanging fruit is everywhere you go you should bring um, either samples or um, wear your own company's um, uniform or logo on your apparel. Maybe it's a hat, maybe it's a polo shirt, maybe it's a it's a button down shirt. Whatever the case is, wherever you go, especially when you're in the apparel decoration business, you want to wear um, you know uh, shirts that represent your company because that itself is a conversation starter. People uh, might see a very nice uh, looking logo, maybe a 3D puff design on a hat that you're wearing, and uh, ask, "Oh, hey, where did you get that hat?" And you say, "Oh, that's my own company, and you know we do you know hats for other businesses." Businesses, and that's a natural way to kind of strike conversation and perhaps get some people interested uh, because it's you know advertise you being your own uh, uh, advertisement is absolutely free and doesn't take a lot of work to do and simply just being mindful of that everywhere everywhere you go can easily um, you know uh, pick up a lot of um, you know businesses that you weren't expecting um, at the same time always bring your business cards as well so that you can always hand them out to people that you do strike up a conversation with so do that first and foremost most. All right. The, the second thing is, um, you know, I, I've mentioned this multiple times on this channel, um, but um, I still don't see a lot of people actually, you know, take it very seriously, which is so social media. And um, social media, it's absolutely free. Um, you know, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, um, TikTok, Instagram, um, Twitter, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, uh, I would say the ones that you probably want to get started on is the ones that are more visual, maybe uh, maybe an Instagram, Facebook, or or, or TikTok, um, that are more visual because a custom apparel is a very visual art. Uh, it's a very visual industry, and so um, the way that I I tell people is that um, you know social media it goes without saying that it's important nowadays, especially in today's digital age. Um, but the key is being consistent to make sure that you're posting regularly so that you build a social media presence, not just have a social media post, but building a social media presence so that people can find you and, and view you as a legitimate business. Um, that takes time, right? And that takes consistency. And many people are are afraid or, or find it very daunting, the fact that they have to post uh, very regularly and kind of go out of their way to take pictures or make videos that, you know, they're not, they're not a, a content creator and, and they have to like, it's almost like having a, a, a another job, having to you know do all of these things, and that's I, I tell people it's a mis misconception because. Um if you're in the apparel decoration business, it's already a very visual um, industry and, and and a visual art. And as you are doing your orders, it's very easy to just pull out your phone and take a picture or shoot a quick video, um, or a short video, kind of explaining what you're doing, showing the showing the work, and then putting some music behind it. And that's it. It doesn't have to be a high production, um, you know, high quality types of shots, um, but it documents your process. I always tell people to just document their process um, you know documented uh, documenting your process can be helpful for not only your internal processes to teach your empl employees as you scale how to do something but it's also helpful for other people that are intrigued by the behind the scenes of how decorated apparel works how does embroidery work how does printing work and for you to just shoot a quick video demonstrating what you're doing and then the final result of it people you, you'll be surprised at how many people are intrigued by that simple process and then that exposes your business to customers or potential customers that might need your service even though they might just you know find it very intriguing the next time around when they are um 
uh, looking for some t-shirts or some hats and they see your content and your content is on top of mine and you're always kind of showing what you're doing versus someone else who's not, um, guess what? You're going to be the one that's on top of mind to those people when they actually need the decorated apparel. I mean, I have this personal experience as a consumer when, um, you know, either I'm looking for uh, some some landscaping or I'm looking for, um, you know, uh, to, to do any re remodeling and, 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 and in, in a bathroom or in a kitchen and then I come across you know on Instagram uh, you know a tiling company that, sh that that shows kind of what kind of tiles they actually uh, uh, use and and their process and showing the before and after and uh, or a um, you know a uh, turf company that uh, transformed a backyard from kind of this dead grass to you know a nice looking turf and showing the before and after showing their digging up all the debris process and then showing the after when everything looks um, nice and clean, you know, I've, me as a consumer, I've personally saved and followed those accounts uh, so that I know that, hey, the next time around, if I need any sort of uh, turf, I'm keeping this guy in mind because I see how their process works and the guy talking about, you know, um, a free estimate and, 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 and all of that, how their process works, how long something, something like that takes. And it also shows the quality of their work and what they're capable of uh, by showing, by, by them showing their most capable process projects, their most uh, astonishing projects that they've done, right? And so this also gives the consumer a way to vet you without even having, having to talk to you. And just putting your work out there gets you exposure so that the next time around, you know, if I need any um, tiling work done or any painting done, um, I already know contractors on top of my mind from the ones that I've seen on, on Instagram. And that's just one simple, very easy example that I found myself um, doing as a, as a consumer. And as a business, you know, these businesses are savvy enough to be on social media and actually demonstrate their work to then you know be in front of people and consumers like me who might one day you know come across uh, those type of services and keep them in mind so similarly you should do that um, you know with your process especially because every order that you do you're already doing it you're already spending the time to set up the order and doing all of that and, and as it's embroidering or as it's printing just shoot a quick video demonstrating how it's printing how the design works and then the final product and and give that wow factor to the consumer who's viewing that video or looking at that picture and give them an idea of what you're capable of. And that itself goes a long way. So you don't really have to go out of your way to do all of this. Just document your existing process day to day as you're already doing it. And that, if you do it consistently, will, will, you'll be better than 90% of the businesses out there who aren't doing that. <clears throat> All right, the next thing that I uh, want to talk about is leveraging some um, platforms that can help propel your business if you, um, you know, uh, don't already have traffic or existing business on your own um, and you're just starting out it, there one other way to leverage um, one other way to kind of scale your business and grow and promote your custom pair business is to leverage these existing platforms and what I mean by that is platforms like Etsy or or Amazon um, uh, platforms even like Garmio which we have here at, at Ricoma a, a sister company of ours um, uh, that gathers, you know, uh, people that need custom apparel and then routes those orders to people that can fulfill those custom apparel orders, um, kind of like what, what Etsy is doing, right? Um, uh, the, the difference being Etsy, you know, every store owner manages their own store. Um, you know, on Shopify, you can manage your own store. On Etsy, you know, you're, you can buy traffic you, if you want to spend money to buy traffic. If you, um, if you just want to put a listing, I think it's like, um, you know, a few dollars or, or, you know, 30, 40 cents per, per listing or, or uh, you know, very, very uh, cheap to, to do that for a period of time. And then you do pay a fee every time you transact, um, you know, uh, for the credit card fee or whatever the case is, but you leverage an existing platform that already has millions and millions of uh, viewers and traffic to then direct to your store if, if you have the things that the um, and, you know, people are looking for. So leveraging platforms is also a good, good way to, to get that. Obviously, every platform has its nuances. So I would, um, you know, th 
today's video is too short uh, to kind of dive into that detail and 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 uh, that dive into that topic in greater detail. But you know, obviously, there's best practices on Etsy. There are best practices on Amazon with your listings and keywords and photo taking. Make sure you use all of those best practices. I'm sure there's a ton of content and resources available online to teach you how to do that. Um, as long as you do that, you're you're going to be more visible on these platforms and get orders coming in. You know that way. So uh, something to consider. You got to have you know good descriptions and good photos to attract people. And um, the other good thing about the platform is you kind of kind of see what the market rate is for a particular uh, you know if it's a monogram or a small logo versus a jacket back design. What you can potentially charge um, for those type of orders. Um, but people you know love uh, customization. They like to put their own name on something or a monogram on something um, or their own logo on on something. And um, you know these platforms can be leveraged to kind of uh, you know propel your business to the next level or at least give you a head start and get started so you get these orders coming in and as you scale you can also use these platforms as a way to diversify you know you might have your own website and you can bring in your own traffic you know great that's 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 awesome uh, but if you want to be a little bit more hands-off on the marketing and uh, you know kind of let the platform do all that marketing for you and then you just fulfill the orders you can also do that or you can do both it just depends on kind of what you want and and your circumstance um, and but you can have that flexibility if you want to leverage uh, other people's traffic uh, to bring in business to you okay um, the fourth uh, way that I'm gonna talk about is more dealing with attending these community events um, which which is why you know deco summit is something I wanted to uh, talk about here as well but these these events whether it's like artisan shows um, uh, trade shows whether it's uh, these craft fairs that I see some people go to, you can either attend as an attendee, just walk around the show and look at different things, uh, or attend as a vendor. You don't, you know, attending as a vendor obviously will cost you some money to set up a booth, uh, but you don't necessarily have to do that to gain value out of an an, an event an event like that. Um, the you know, if you just go to a trade show, just walk around, you'll you, you'll immerse yourself um, in the different types of products that are out there, different suppliers that are out there. You might find a supplier that like, oh, I can get a price for for cheaper from here um, and build a relationship there you might find products and accessories or supplies um, that you didn't think about before but you saw the latest technology or you saw the latest things uh, and that can spark an idea of expanding your offerings by bringing on this other supplier um, you can also network with other decorators especially at trade shows it's all like-minded people within events like this and even more so at deco summit because deco summit has um, even a bigger focus on networking versus um versus kind of just walking around and looking at vendors you know you can walk around and look at our latest equipment and technology sure um, but that's not the focal point of an event like deco summit that's why it's an educational conference not really a trade show but with a trade show even if you just walk around and network with uh, other people you might find business opportunities or um, you know at, at events like deco summit i've seen people um, network with each other and find out that oh hey we're from the same town and um, you know you might specialize in um, you know small orders i might specialize and like I, I do more bulk orders um, and so you might build a relationship where hey if I get a personalized order I'll just outsource it to to you because I don't want to do it and then um, but you know you uh, I can I can pay you that fee uh, but I still retain the client so people build relationships off of these events by simply networking and finding out um, what are each other's needs and maybe some somebody just um, hates doing hats right and I've seen people that that hate doing hats um, and um, if they get a hat order they might be able to give it to you if you if you love doing hats um, and so building those connections can also generate business opportunities that can promote your your uh, your your business and if you are swamped with orders you have other uh, ways to outsource that order and still retain that client that might be something that might be helpful for you um, you know as a, as a resource to keep in your back pocket uh, should you be swamped during a particular time or maybe you're on vacation and you just want to close down the shop for a, a couple of weeks uh, but still have orders coming in you can outsource that to someone uh, at, uh, as well if you know the right people and actually you know have vetted their work and trust that they can do a good job so these things are uh, built up over time through networking through going to events like the deco summit like these different trade shows um, and then when you get to the level of you know you wanting to be to be a vendor at some of these craft shows uh, that's even better right you you can pay a couple hundred dollars set up a booth and people come in and you know some people will buy stuff on the spot um, and take and take that away or you just like, get exposure in your 
local community, letting people know about what kind of services you offer. So that's another way to um, you know uh, really promote your business and definitely wear you know your branding and your type of your uh, logo on your apparel uh, when you attend these type of events. Um, that really shows a level of professionalism as well as lets people know the type of services that you can provide. Okay, and last but not least, um, in terms of uh, ways to promote your business, um, once you've uh, you know kind of established a certain footing in you know in the industry, and you've done a couple of orders, and you're able to kind of um, do them well, you can start leveraging those existing customers for for reviews or referrals. And I uh, this is I, I love being able to do this because you know it. Um, that word of mouth from some from someone who's done and transacted with you carries a whole lot more weight than you approaching you know a, a an organization a cold or even through a warm introduction but they don't have a they they haven't done any any business with you um, for customers that have done business with you uh, they can be your biggest advocates if you do a good job um, and so uh, definitely your first couple of orders if you're starting out make sure you're meticulous and and the quality and guaranteeing the quality and the turnaround time make sure you do a good job on those and then those can can turn into future orders from that same customer or you can leverage those customers to get other uh, other customers in the door and make those introductions um, you can also incentivize uh, existing customers uh, with almost like a like a um, re referral fee. You know, a lot of companies do this, where hey, if you refer someone, you get 10% uh, off your next order or 20% off your next order, whatever the case is. And so they can refer someone to you and be able to also you know get a discount on their next order with you. Uh, it's a win-win situation. And if you do a good job, you know, uh, some customers even without uh, a a referral fee are more than happy to refer you other people. People, um, that they know that might be uh, needing custom apparel as well and you'll be surprised if people if business owners especially uh, business owners that you've done business with um, the industry that they're in they're mo very likely to know other people in the same industry and uh, what I mean by this is if you know a restaurant owner chances are if you talk to them they they know like 10 other people in the in the restaurant business because that's that's the business that they're in so they know kind of everyone in that space so if you do a good job for for, for one restaurant owner you might be able to get access to 10 more uh, uh, restaurants who all need sort of some sort of decorated apparel um, because uh, apparel and branding is very prevalent as I mentioned in all sorts of industries so building that relationship with uh, with with existing customers can definitely help you in the long run um, you know uh, when you do a good job uh, not only in the repeat business from that particular customer but also leveraging it for other relationships that you can get your foot in the door and then kind of you know it snowballs from from there provided you keep on doing a good job job and um, keep on maintaining those accounts and, and relationships all right so that's all I got for um, for the topic for today um, you know with with regards to events like Deco Summit it really is a, a super uh, helpful way to um, to network so if you are interested in uh, attending this year's Deco Summit you kind of got a taste of what previous years are like and uh, this year it'll, it'll be uh, the the biggest one yet so um, uh, that's why we got a we got a bigger venue. We we have a ton a ton of uh, very cool stuff coming out in the next couple of months. In fact, you know, um, as I mentioned in the in the beginning, this is the last live stream for this half of the year. Starting in the, uh, in uh, third quarter, which is in July, uh, starting in third quarter, heading into the end of the year, we have a lot a lot of very exciting things coming. Um, some of them are pretty top secret, so I can't mention anything yet. But just know that there's a lot of new product launches, new technology. Um, um, uh, new supplies and 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 accessories uh, a lot of different things that are happening uh, all of that is happening you know uh, there's some uh, exciting things that we'll be unveiling at Deco Summit uh, and uh, we got some exciting stuff coming up next month as well so stay tuned for that um, you know whether it's in in the printing with uh, with DTF uh, whether it's with you know other uh, improvements on our existing equipment and new versions of our equipment uh, a lot of very exciting things that are happening and we're also um, you know starting a, a, a because you know we, we see the need for um, uh, blank apparel and 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 blank goods uh, we also um, are 
launching some of those in the upcoming uh, months as well. So uh, a lot of very exciting things, and this I do believe that the um, uh, this year's Deco Summit will be the will be uh, uh, have a huge wow factor on a lot of the things that we're showcasing, and uh, we're excited to see a lot of people kind of um, previous years attendees coming back this year, and a lot of newcomers as well. We're welcoming those uh, as well to to really um, you know we want to be the premier company that's able to build this sort of community and network within this industry because it's never done before um, something like Deco Summit. You know, it's not your average trade show and. And um, we're very proud of, uh, you know, doing that. This, this will be the, um, uh, the fourth annual Deco Summit that we're, that we're hosting. So started out in the first year just in our office as we just moved into our new office here, a very small, um, you know, uh, uh, well, the office is not small. The office is like is, is 50,000 square feet. But um, the event, uh, you know, in the beginning, uh, given, you know, we have uh, the rest of the office taken up with, with furniture and everything else, um, was a much more smaller scale event held at our headquarters. Uh, and then the years after, it's just been at, you know, bigger and bigger venues um, at hotels. So uh, we can, you know, accommodate all of the uh, equipment and people that uh, are going to be attending. So we're very excited to, to be hosting this year's event and looking forward to seeing a lot of you there. Um, with that said, I do want to just open up the floor to any questions you guys might have about anything I talked about um, uh, or, in, or about Deco Summit or about some of the promotions that we have going on. Whatever it is that's on your mind, um, whether it's relating to your own business that you want to, you know, run run something and and uh, uh, buy me or uh, pick my brain about something, I'm happy to share my thoughts on that uh, or any questions you guys might have. I'm gonna start scrolling through some of the comments now um, that people have uh, chimed in before, and um, I'll start with YouTube and answer some questions there. But keep the questions coming in, and um, I'll answer them when I can get to them. Rosemary Mitchell from YouTube said, the rep I spoke with said the company would do a trade up. Has anyone done that? Yes. Uh, so um, I don't know if anyone in particular on this uh, live chat has done that, but uh, that is something I can I can affirm that that is something that, uh, that, 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 that we do do and hundreds of customers have, have done that. Um, if you're outgrowing your, your machine, uh, you can trade it up for a larger one. Uh, maybe a multi-head machine if you're talking about uh, the the embroidery side um, one thing I would just caution you in that uh, when you do a tra when you do you know a trade up if you're trading in from a single head to a multi head um, one thing I would caution you is that you always need a single head lying around to do small orders and uh, sampling or even just testing um, so when you have a multi head if you just you know you have to turn off multiple heads to run one small order not really good a good use of your multi head in uh, investment because you really bought the multi head to be able to do multiple items at the same time uh, but if you uh, are still using it like a single head it's not really a good use of that investment so that's why a lot of people a lot of successful embroidery shops are going to have a single head and multi head combinations lying around so that they can make sure that they can accommodate these smaller orders and testing and sampling for their clients and then using the multi head machine to do these bulk orders. Just something to keep in mind. But yes, you can do that trade in if you want to. Uh, on YouTube, um, Comey Chunter, uh, co co comic, comic Hunter 559 says, I'm waiting for the DTG, DTG to drop. State, um, uh, how do I get details about the DTG in this video? Yeah, that would be, um, you know, I can't say too much about it. I don't want to give away too, too much about it, but just stay tuned. That's all I can say um, very, very soon. So um, that is something that we're working heavily towards in the coming weeks, let's say. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. Creative Concepts on YouTube says DTF is a game changer. Yep, it really is. 
And right now we're seeing, you know, DTF is still in the, I think the very beginning stages, um, even though it's a technology that probably, you know, really took off uh, several years ago, starting s several years ago. Um, there's still a lot of lot of different it's like going through it's going to go through a consolidation phase because I've seen this being done with embroidery machines with direct to garment printers with any technology that um, that kind of takes the industry by storm in the beginning you know um, uh, everyone is doing it everyone is selling it um, there's many different brands um, and and you know you, you know you can find it at a variety of prices um, but Sooner or later, it's going to consolidate, and our our um, vision and our uh, uh, I think our plan, and I'm pretty confident in our execution of that plan, is to to once the industry consolidates, um, be at the forefront and the leader of that space, kind of like what we did with with embroidery. If you look back with embroidery machines, maybe I would say uh, even uh, ten years ago, or you know fifteen years ago. Um, 10 to 15, 15 years ago, there was like, you know, 20, 30 different brands on the market. Um, you know, everybody was selling it. It was named under many different uh, brands. And now that has really consolidated to a well-known, you know, five or six brands. You know, us being the, the, the leader uh, out of the pack there in terms of, uh, you know, volume sold, um, you know, over the, over the years. Really, we've, we've um, sold more than the next uh, three people, com uh, three brands combined in terms of volume. Um, and that's super uh, telling because, you know, in, in embroidery, when it was in the beginning stages, when everybody was, you know, still kind of getting used to it, and there's a lot of different types of machines out on the market, a lot of those companies have uh, gone, gone out of business, whether it's because of the quality of the, of the, of the machine, whether it's because of the service and support, um, just or just making a quick buck and then just being out of there. Whatever the reason is, the industry does consolidate. And I see the same thing happening with DTF. Um, and our goal being the manufacturer and having manufacturing capabilities um, is to be able to be at the forefront of that of that consolidation because I believe um, having control of the sources of, of manufacturing um, puts you at a very high advantage over competitors that don't. If you're just buying and selling machines from someone else, um, you know, and just kind of being a, being a middleman, uh, it, you can't. You can never beat the factory that's going to have actual manufacturing cap capabilities. So um, you know, we R and D and design and manufacture our own machines. So that's something that uh, we see. This we see the same happening with DTF over the long run. Probably within even in even in the next three to five years, it's going to consolidate quite quite a bit. So, um, but it is definitely a game changer that, and we we see that as being a game changer as well. Magically, Michelle says, I have a white toner and embroidery machine. I'm almost ready for the DTF. Awesome. Whenever you're ready, we're here. Beth DePercio asks, when is our, uh, yes, we have our VIP tickets. When is the registration for classes? Yeah, probably within the next uh, um, month or so, I think the classes schedule are going to start trickling out. And uh, once that's finalized, as I mentioned, if you already have a VIP ticket, we have your information. We'll be sending you out an email for you to uh, sign up for those classes once they're available. Let's see some other questions. Let's see what are some other questions from Facebook. Um, Charles King asks, what are your prices for your machines? I mean, we have so many machines to choose from. So um, 
you probably need to be a little bit more specific on that. But reaching out to any of our reps, uh, they'll be happy to assist you with that. Raya Nath says, this Recoma community connection is so invaluable. I love it. It's so reassuring that you can reach out to someone who will understand my problem and help me. Awesome. Yeah, and we got, I think, Recoma Connect, which is our private Facebook group, which every Recoma customer gets access to, and only Recoma uh, customers get, get access to it. Uh, you have to have a, a, a Recoma product. Um, I, I believe that group has like over 5,000 people or 6,000 people. Um, and so that's like five, 6,000 Recoma users that have, have a machine or probably has the same machine that you do and can answer any questions. And always, uh, we're here to help as well with our support team. <clears throat> I see someone on uh, Facebook also, Raya asks, so should I consider TC1501 or MT1501? Great question, and I already see some people, um, and you're asking what's the difference. I already see some people uh, chiming in why they chose the MT1501 versus the TC1501 because of the larger embroidery, you know, uh, be able to embroider bulkier items has larger clearance space underneath the head. Um, so that's 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 exactly the, the difference. Um, we actually have a video on our YouTube channel sh uh, explaining the difference between the TC1501 and the MT1501. Um, so if you're interested to check that out, we'll put a link to that uh, if the team can find that and uh, and put the link in the YouTube section or, or in on both YouTube and Facebook. Um, and you can you can check that out. <clears throat> but that goes it goes into what I just said in much further detail. And, you, and then it kind of showcases you on the video what I'm talking about with the clearance space. So you can, you know, is it, uh, is is the TC able to do bags and jackets? Yes, it's still able to do it, but it's just easier to do it without having to um, maneuver things around or, you know, because jackets and bags are bulkier, especially with like duffel bags or, or weekender bags. Um, those are bulkier and then the TC uh, just doesn't have as much clearance area as the MT does. So you might have to like squeeze some things in, tuck some things in so it doesn't interfere with the embroidery uh, but the MT has that larger clearance for that particular reason. Juan Garcia de Jesus asks, I like to do hats. My last order was 15 hats and came from a Google ad that I posted. How can I do that in other platforms? Um, instead of, what, one thing I would was, I was suggest that you do, instead of uh, expanding to other platforms right away, and I, I assume you mean like other ad platforms, like you know you can, you can do ads on Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok even. Um, if you had success that you were able to get 15 hats come from a Google ad, I would double down on that, right? I would double down on scaling your Google ads locally or whatever the case is to be able to generate more orders that way instead of trying to you know, plaster everything, every ad over every, every social media platform. I would focus on one that's finding success because not every ad platform, like we don't advertise on, on every platform because some platforms are not very successful for us. Um, I would, whatever you're finding su success in, double down on that and tweak that and, and and optimize that even further so you get even better results and scale on that platform before expanding onto another platform. Because you still have a ways to go to scale it, and then once you've kind of tapped that out, then you can go to another platform and, and expand your, your traffic. You know, you can always spend money on another platform and gain more traffic, but if you're already finding success, success in one of them, go ahead and, and double down on that to be able to expand that further. Janelle Porter asks, do you have to sign up for the seminars at Deco Summit or is it first come, first serve to capacity? So for the VIP classes, you do need to pre-sign up because we need to know what machine uh, is in what room. 
so those, if you have a VIP ticket, uh, like as I mentioned before, once those seminars are set, the VIP seminars are going to be um, on a sign-up basis. And once those classes are full on the, on the RS, RSVP, then it's no longer available. On the ones that you don't need to sign up, which is everything else, um, it's a first come for, uh, uh, first serve. If you have access to it, you know it's a first come uh, first serve basis. As long as the class still has seats, you're welcome to attend, or you can you know stand in the back if there's no more seats. Um, but it is uh, first come first serve in that aspect. Tina Case asks: Is the Ricoma two hundred? or uh, I think what you mean is the Ricoma Luminaris 200 white toner printer a prelude to a DTF printer? That's a, that's a great question, and I would think about it like this. Um, many people get confused as to kind of, you know, the difference between white toner transfer printer and the DTF printer. And here's how I would break it down. They are, they're very similar, but they have their use, each, their, have their uh, unique use cases and their differences. Um, so the first thing that I would say is uh, for a white toner transfer printer and a DTF, they are both transfers. So you, meaning you have to print your design onto a transfer sheet and then you transfer that onto your substrate, your, your garment. The difference, uh, and so they work in a very similar fashion and, and that's where the, the, I guess the, the similarities end. Um, they they kind of work in a similar fashion in that it's printing onto a sheet, onto a film, and then you transfer it onto a design. It's a two-step process. With regards to a uh, white toner printer, it is a much more compact and small scale printer. Um, you can uh, print, um, uh, you can print these like eight and a half by eleven or eight and a half by by fourteen designs, which are much smaller in comparison to a roll to roll DTF printer, where a roll of film is like twenty four inches wide. So your print area on a um, printer on a, on a DTF printer is that much wider. That's, that's the first difference. The other key difference is that the white toner transfer printers, they, uh, as the name suggests, it uses toner. It's white toner. Uh, versus DTF, it uses ink. So toner, if you don't know, it's kind of like the same toner that you use in your office printer, in your office laser printer. It is a powder. It is a, a toner, right? It's not liquid. It's not ink. And so the maintenance that's required for white toner transfer printers is less than that of DTF printers. That, that's, that's one pro that the DTF has, sorry, that the uh, white toner has over uh, uh, DTF printers. It uses uh, toner, which is a powder, versus ink. So there's less maintenance involved because um, you know ink can, can clog, especially white ink, it could clog if you don't maintain it properly and it doesn't circulate or you don't use the machine for a very long time. With toner, it, you don't really have that issue. You can just leave it on for months and months and months and it will still work. Um, that's the uh, one uh, major benefit of the white toner transfer printer. The other benefit and difference uh, is that white toner transfer printers um, can use hard surface paper. It can use a specialized uh, type of film or paper to be able to transfer designs onto hard surfaces like mugs or plates, right? Or like a metal tumbler, right? Anything that you can fit under like a mug heat press, you can transfer onto metal, wood, ceramic, it doesn't matter. You can use that paper to, to print on the, to use the toner to print it and then transfer that onto your, uh, your hard surface. DTF is more mainly used for soft surfaces, garments. You can't really, you can't really, you know, you can use it on tablecloth and all that, anything that's, that's soft, but it doesn't really work on hard surfaces. You're not really transferring onto mugs and tumblers and things like that. So that's uh, from a versatility standpoint, white toner does offer you a little bit more on the versatility. Now, um, that's where kind of the, the, the pros are for the white toner transfer printer. The pros for the DTF is volume. You're talking about a roll-to-roll -roll printer that can, that can um, you know, print out a lot more volume, um, wider size design, as I mentioned, almost essentially twice the size from a width standpoint um, versus a white toner transfer printer. Um, at the same time, you also have the ability to uh, because it's a wider print area, you can print multiple smaller designs onto one sheet, right? So you can fit a lot more smaller designs onto one sheet, saving you a lot of time and resources and money. 
um, not having to you know use a lot of sheets uh, to to print those designs um, if you have smaller designs you can fit a lot of it onto um, you know it's almost like a gang sheet as they call it you, you, you fit a lot of designs onto one gang sheet and then you're able to um, you know save a lot of the sheets there you can sell those sheets as I, as I mentioned um, to your customers uh, that's something that's very very helpful for the for the DTF. Uh, DTF it's really um, because of its capabilities and speed, it's um, really uh, much better on on the volume. The other part is DTF because it uses ink and uh, not toner. The transfer even though it's both a transfer process, the feel on the DTF transfer is slightly better than the feel on a white toner transfer. Um, and uh, the the DTG because it's direct to garment. It's printing directly on the garment. It's even better feel than DTF. So every equipment has its nuances and pros and cons. But be just between DTF and white toner, the DTF has a little bit better of a hand feel than the white toner transfer. But you're, uh, you know, you don't have the hard surface transfer capabilities, and then you uh, do need a little bit more maintenance. Um, but you make, you gain. What you gain is um, the print area. You gain in the speed. Um, and, uh, you know, as I mentioned, a, a, a better feel on the actual transferred product. So some people are very picky about that and they, and they really want that. So, um, that you can't really, you can't really get, uh, with other methods, you know, like I think heat transfer vinyl is the, uh, the simplest and the most cost effective. It's the most entry level one, but you, as you can, you probably know heat transfer vinyl, it's a layer of vinyl onto your garment. You can definitely feel that. And then white toner is kind of like a, you know, a, a step better and DTF is a step better than that. And then DTG and, and essentially screen printing, um, is even better than that. Or even su uh, sublimation is, is, is better than uh, hand feel than, than all of those. Um, but sublimation also has this, um, uh, limitations being able to only transfer onto light surfaces and polyester only so with white toner and DTF it doesn't matter what surface you transfer on poly cotton poly cotton uh, um, po uh, poly cotton blends it doesn't doesn't matter so um, that's the versatility of, of those things I I have multiple videos on this channel actually talking about the the differences of each different types of technology so uh, definitely search that if you're um, looking to understand it further I compare um, uh, DTG with white toner, um, sublimation with white toner. I, I compare a lot of different things. Um, so uh, there's different, definitely pros and cons of each. So that's why I, I, a lot of people have multiple machines in their shop, right? They have a DTF that can fulfill larger orders, a small white toner to be able to do mugs and have that capability, you know, and do tumblers. They want to decorate that. Um, heat transfer vinyl to decorate, you know, also on tumblers as well. Uh, and, um, you know, and, and with an embroidery machine, then they have, uh, they have sublimation. Then they have DTG when it's only doing, you know, full color, color designs on prints onto garments. So it really depends. It really depends on, on, your, on your needs. So. So uh, the most successful decoration shops have like a variety of these things to accommodate all sorts of customers. All right. So uh, with that said, I think we're running um, up to the uh, um, hour here, a little bit over an hour here. But uh, thank you guys for all the questions that uh, you guys have submitted. Um, and I'm happy to I, I was happy to answer a lot of the questions that you guys had. Uh, I, I did want to maybe just answer one or two on on Instagram just to um, I, did, I didn't look at the Instagram comments um, custom creations asks, can you share any tips or best practices for managing and maintaining high quality standards in embroidery production as well as staying organized yeah so um, definitely organize your supplies and, and, and materials a lot of people have um, you know, kind of like these cubbies that are right behind me to organize, you know, different uh, blank blank apparel so that they can find things very easily. Um, you also want to make sure that, uh, you know, from an embroidery quality standpoint, um, you want to make sure that you get good digitizing, right? Digitizing is like half the battle in, in, in the embroidery process. If you don't have good digitizing, it's like garbage in, garbage out. So you want to make sure you, you digitize well. If you're outsourcing it, make sure you get a good digitizer. If you're doing it on your own, you know, you better know what, what you're doing um, so that you make sure you your digitizing is on point and then that guarantees that you have a good starting point on your embroidery process on um, the other parts of embroidery it's all about the tension the hooping um, you know what type of needles you use what type of backing you use all of that you know comes with experience and uh, the 
the type of projects that you're doing. Just using best practices, depending on the type of garments you do uh, or the type of projects you're doing, you know, the type of backing you use, the size of the needle that you use, the type of thread that you use, um, the tension, etc. Um, for your top tension, for your bobbin tension, all of that, there's no kind of cookie cutter approach to saying this will this will solve everything, but it depends on the type of projects that you're doing, the thickness of the fabric, the stretchiness of the fabric, all of that um, you know plays into how well your embroidery is going to turn out. But digitizing across the board is going to be you know more than half the battle. You need to make sure your digitizing is good. Pokey, last question from Instagram. Pokey Stevie, Poke Stevie says, "I'm a, I'm a beginner. How how are copyrighted designs applied to for embroidery? How do I avoid being fined? What about fan arts? Yeah, I would just make sure that anything that's copyrighted, you don't do it. You don't you don't sell it as a commercial product. Um, that's gonna that's gonna be a super, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna get into kind of legal issues there. So I wouldn't, you know, I'm not I'm not an attorney." I would really speak with a with a copyright attorney on that. But general rule of thumb is, if you know there's like a Nike logo, yeah, don't embroider it and sell that. That's gonna get you in trouble. Um, you know, fan art. Um, that's kind of you know in, in a gray area. If it's stuff that you've designed, um, I think you're in the clear. Uh, but if it's fan art, you know, fan art not usually the ones that I've seen are not usually commercialized. You're not really kind of printing that onto a shirt and selling it. That has to be more of an, an original design. You have to be, uh, if you're selling your, your designs, if you're selling your apparel with designs on them, it's got to be uh, more, it's got to be original, right? Or else you might run into these copyright issues. Uh, you might, might not get into that when you're small, but I definitely know that if, you're, if, you, if it takes off, uh, yeah, you're going to face, you know, um, uh, possible litigation or at least a cease and desist from the uh, the copyright holder so I would just generally avoid um, you know going that, down that route if you if you have to question yourself like whether this is okay or not probably err on the side of caution and and don't do it so that's that's my two cents on that all right so with that said you guys um, just to kind of recap some of the things we talked about um, we talked about you know the five successful ways that you can uh, promote your custom apparel business. Hopefully, you guys found a lot of value in those uh, tips and tricks. Um, for those of you that are joining us late, we do have a couple of sales going on. Just to run through them very quickly, uh, we have the embroidery machines on sale for um, as low as one thirty-five per month with zero percent financing. Um, we have different options of embroidery machines for you to choose from. Contact one of our product specialists to understand more about what is it that you need and what type of machine can best fit your needs. Um, you know, and uh, we have single heads all the way up to 12 heads, um, depending on what, what you need to do. Um, and on top of that, we also have um, the, uh, uh, yeah, I did mention the 0% financing. It is for 72 months, so quite a long uh, term payment. So it kind of lowers your monthly payment by quite a bit. And then the 135 per month is for the EM1010 entry level embroidery machine. Um, to put it into into perspective, you know, 135 per month can you can easily um, uh, you can you can you can e e very easily afford that monthly payment with just like one to two small orders of like a dozen polo shirts. So definitely. Um, very affordable and very easy for you to get started. Um, on top of that, we do have, we talked a lot about, you know, DTF and, and uh, uh, white toner transfer printer. Uh, we do have the white toner transfer printers on sale as well. Um, the Luminaris 200, we have the uh, two different bundles for it, the essentials bundle and the premium bundle. Um, you get uh, all you can, all you, all you need to get started with the paper and everything, um, toner cartridges, um, the Lumen Rip software, which is both Mac and PC compatible, by the way, the only um, Rip software that's 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 like that on the market. Um, most of them are just only compatible with Windows. So if you're used to using Mac, um, you know the, our our Rip software is compatible with Mac as well. And you get everything you need to get started. Um, you know uh, the heat press, the uh, um, uh, sheets of transfer paper, and the training included as well. All right, 145 per month for the essentials bundle and 167 per month for the premium bundle, which you get a better heat press, a larger heat press, and an and auto open heat press. Uh, you get um, some additional supplies as well, and uh, you get live online training versus a uh, recorded uh, 
video training. So you get to interact with an instructor and definitely can get your answer, uh, qu questions answered. All right. Um, last but not least, the DTF, uh, we do have that available as well. Um, uh, 277 per month with 0% financing. The uh, Revel DTF 2402, um, uh, a dual print head um, DTF printer. Um, DT it comes with the DTF printer, the, uh, the powder shaker, as well as the uh, the drying um, drying unit, the the the, the drying belt, um, or or the dryer. Uh, um, and uh, so it's three different pieces of equipment in, in, in one. And you also get the supplies of the ink and the purifier. You get the heat press. Uh, you get the film and the adhesive uh, powder, etc. Everything you need to get uh, started out of the box. And training is included as well. <clears throat> and, of course, you get the RIP software to manage your designs and all of that. Okay? Um, that's it for the equipment. And then I did mention in the beginning, we do have a flash sale for uh, the shop, shop.recoma.com. 10% off of heat presses, vinyl cutters, and sewing machines, plus free shipping. And 20% off of Chroma, which is our digitizing software for embroidery and embroidery accessories. So 20% off of those. If you're looking to upgrade or if you're looking to add on a different accessories to your, to your embroidery, that's, this is the time to get it. It's available from now till Friday. Okay. Um, and... Um, now we'll kind of go into our giveaway, but before we do that, it you know do remember that even if you don't win this giveaway for the Deco Summit, you know one free Deco Summit ticket for for general admission for this year's uh, Deco Summit, even if you don't win it, you do everyone on this uh, live stream will be um, uh, eligible and are made aware of the 10% off uh, flash sale that we have for for, De for any Deco Summit tickets. So if you go to decosummit.com and you enter the code Deco10. That's D-E-C-O-1-0. If you enter the code DECO10 between now and Friday, you get an additional 10% off already discounted um, tickets, all right? Because now we're in the super, sorry, now we're in the early bird phase and uh, that ends in about a month and then the prices go up to eight ninety five dollars each for um, general mission tickets and uh, I believe like twelve ninety five dollars for um, VIP tickets. So definitely something you want to take advantage of before the, the prices go up. And uh, Deco10, the code there, will give you an additional 10% off the already discounted prices between now and Friday. Okay? All right. With that said, um, let's, go, let's go ahead and wrap this up and uh, announce our one lucky winner for the um, Deco Summit general admission ticket. Um, so the winner will be picked from either YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. And I'm just getting the notification now about the winner. Um, drum roll, please. The winner is uh, going to be for our general mission uh, ticket for Deco Summit. It's going to be Karen Munez. Karen uh, from Instagram. Um, Karen Munez from Instagram. So if you're there, Karen, make sure you comment on Instagram so we know um, that you're there. Otherwise, if we wait a little bit, you know, we'll, we'll kind of wait a little bit. But if you don't claim this, we, which happened to us last time, we uh, did. We had to go with a backup. Okay, so I did. I do see Karen here. Karen Munez from Instagram did comment. Thank you. So um, Karen, all right, awesome, great, good. All right, uh, Karen. So our team will reach out to you on Instagram, uh, you know, via a private message and get your, uh, you know, contact info and email so we can email you the uh, code to claim your free ticket. And uh, with that said, thank you guys so much for joining. I really appreciate all of you um, spending the time with us here today. And hopefully I was able to shed some uh, insight into a lot of topics that you guys had on your minds. Hopefully answer a lot of questions. You know, m many times I, I don't get to everything, um, but the ones that I could get to, uh, hopefully it provided value for you guys. If it did, I would greatly appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, especially if you're on YouTube. Um, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already, um, you know, to uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you found value in this at, um, at all, would greatly appreciate it if you go ahead and do that. And you see on the bottom of our screen there, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, especially if you're already on YouTube watching this. I would hope that you're a subscriber. And follow us on our other social media channels down below on Instagram as well as TikTok. Uh, we post videos every single day, every single week um, on all of these platforms uh, to keep you guys informed and up to date with the latest things happening in the world of decorated apparel. And I uh, hope you guys got a lot from this. And... Um, um, you know, again, give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, looking forward to speaking with you guys um, 
next month, which will be uh, the third quarter of this year and and uh, starting the second half of the year. So that's when things really kick off and ramp up. And as I said, there's a lot of very exciting things happening um, in the second half. So I'm very excited to, I'm like almost like bursting with, with excitement to share with you guys, but I really can't until the actual launch is announced. So, but just know that there's a lot of very exciting things in, in, the, in the works. And um, for those of you that follow us, you'll be the first to know um, on a lot of these things that are happening, especially on new products and new product launches sometimes we do these pre pre-sales which are like always these like private private sales which we kind of blast it out to a to a group of people uh, whoever's interested kind of get onto this to this private list and then we're able to kind of uh, give them a very special deal so the only way you'll be, be even uh, able to be notified on that on that special deal or that launch is if you follow us on, on social and 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 are on our email list right so uh, make sure you follow there's a definitely a benefit a monetary benefit to uh, keeping up to date with us uh, across our social media channels because you never know when we'll have a giveaway on Instagram when we'll have a giveaway on TikTok or on YouTube um, sometimes we do a lot of these things on different channels just to you know keep everyone on their toes so make sure you follow us on the th on the different channels and uh, give this video a thumbs up um, and hope to see you guys next month and to kick off the second half of the year with some very very exciting things all right thank you guys so much for watching i'm henry and signing off take care